time he's dead. <laughs> yes. That's her spirit walking around in a panic. <laughs> Mortals can't see the other side, so those people in the room aren't aware of Ivy's presence. But because you're here with me, you can see it all. Someone just died and I'm watching their spirit? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. Oh. And this is too bizarre. Oh, come now, Kay. As I recall, you were trapped in hell a while back. <laughs> this is Dullsville compared to that. Even so, I have oh, no desire fine, to... Oh, fine, fine, fine. Suit yourself. Oh, my. Oh, look at the way your father is cradling Ivy's lifeless body in his arms. <laughs> Ivy, please don't die. Come back to me. Please. Ivy's really a goner. Oh, I guess this means my mom and dad will be getting back together now that she's not there to break them up anymore. You know, your mother has genuine feelings for David Hastings. But without Ivy to prod him along, chances are your parents will reconcile. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves, do we? Let's see what happens next. What happened, Tabitha? How did Ivy die? Look into the water and I'll show you. Like that smirk off your face, Ivy. I know you don't want to go back to the mansion. You want to stay here and cause more trouble for Sam and Grace. Yes. But thanks to you, no one else is going to think that, including... Ethan and Sam. No, I really owe you one, Teresa. <laughs> Not only did you make me look good in front of them, you made it look like Grace was wrong about me Oh, all they along. may be fooled, Ivy, but I know that you are a bitch on wheels. Yes, I am. And don't you ever forget it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time for Sam to carry me down the stairs in his oh-so-muscular arms. <laughs> Not so fast, Ivy. Oh, Teresa, what are you doing? <gasps> Teresa, God, don't throw me down the stairs. <sighs> don't worry, Ivy. The last thing I want is for you to take a little tumble. No, we've got some issues to settle, and you are not leaving here until we do. You are stuck with me at the mansion, where I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you never get Ethan back. Oh, yes, I will, Ivy. But you will never get Sam. You're out of his house, and I will find a way to get you back out of mine. And risk another fight with Ethan? I don't think so. God, how I hate you. And I hate the thought of having you back at the mansion even more. What's going on up there? Sam, mark my words, Ivy. I will find a way to get you back out on the street. No, Teresa, don't do it! Don't do what, Ivy? What are you talking about? There's no way that you can stay here now. See, once you're gone, Grace is never gonna let you come back. Not if I have my way about it. Ivy, the days of having your way are over. I am gonna get rid of you for good this time. <gasps> what did you say? I said I am gonna get rid of you for good this time. Ah! <laughs> Ivy's responsible for her own death? Yes. Ivy's plans to steal Sam from Grace and to blame Teresa for the accident all backfired. So she's going to be making a visit to our friends in the basement. No! No! Oh, God! No! Ivy's being sucked into the vortex of hell. Poor Ivy. Oh, please. She brought it on herself by trying to break up your parents' marriage. She deserves everything she's getting. Oh, my God. I could go to hell, too, for the things that I've done. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. But, of course, you know all about that, don't you? of what you've been through with Miguel. I don't know what you mean. I mean that 
Ivy was the woman scorned. Then she tried to get Sam back, and now hell is showing her all its fury. <laughs> Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, What's going on? I believe this is it for dear old Ivy. Oh, you mean... <laughs> the end is nigh and she's going down, down, down. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the boys in the basement. They must be angry. Trying to tell me something. Tabitha, what's going on? Why are your friends in the basement so upset? They don't want Ivy either. They say a dead Ivy can't help them with their plan to spread chaos and heartache in harmony. They want us to save her. Us? We have to save her? Yes. And as much as I hate to admit it, they're right. I mean, a dead ivy won't be able to tear your mother and father apart, will she? Why is that so important? Because your parents are one of the happiest, most harmonious couples in harmony. And we need to get rid of all that sort of happiness. So, come on, Kay, let's do it. Tabitha, no. I'm not going to help you hurt my father. You're not still thinking of being on the side of goodness, are you? Because it's far too late for that, dear. Tabitha, I'm not going to hurt my father. I don't want to be sucked into the fires of Lucifer. I mean, look at Ivy. She went to the side of darkness, and look what's happening to her. She's being sucked into hell. Not yet she's not, and it's our job to make sure she doesn't go there. Now, come on, Kate. No, Tabitha, I'm scared, and I need to think about what to do, okay? Do you want Miguel or not? Well, yes. But I don't know. Well, to... then you better join the right side or you'll never have him. Your only hope of ever getting Miguel is to join forces with me and the boys in the basement. Now, come on, Kay. Make up your mind. There's not much time left. Okay. Just this once. After we're done saving Ivy, I am done with the side of darkness. I want to be on the side of goodness, the side of light. Ah, right, honey. Once you've tasted the forbidden fruit, you'll never go back. Tabitha, how are we going to save Ivy? Oh, oh, what are you doing? We're going to pull Ivy back from the grip of death. Oh. oh my god, is that me? I got her! Oh! I am pulling! Ivy from a fate worse than, well, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome. But just don't expect this to happen again, okay? I agreed to help the dark side to save Ivy, and that's it. Oh, whatever you say, dear. As the expression goes, <laughs> it'll be a cold day in hell. <clears throat> At least we averted this catastrophe. It is over, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm afraid it's not over by a long shot. In fact, the pain and heartache has just begun at your house. Not for my father. I'm sorry, Kay. He's to be included as well. No. 
No. Once I get my powers, I'll protect my dad. Your powers? But you said you'd done with the dark side. I am. But I have to protect my father. As well, actually, it doesn't matter because we don't have to do anything. Ivy's going to cause pain and heartache all by herself. You're alive. 